Nagbukas na po ang ating second quarter at it's atin ng Motolite. For express at service, call 370-6686. The Pure Food Star Hotshots has taken a 16-point lead into the second quarter. Contra sa Barangay Nebra. They were able to get their necessary altitude towards the middle part of the first quarter. They did not start out well, but when they started to put the clamp defensively, do na umalagwa yung star hot shots and for Barangay and Nebra. They have to score better. They have to execute their offense a lot better. They're only good for 15%. We've talked about this time again. The five minutes that Greg played prior to that shot, hindi man lang siya nakakuha ng bola, pero at least option na siya pagdating sa offense. Slaughter. On the floor, ball turned over by Starr. Johnson will throw it down dun sa kabilang dulo. Slaughter and Johnson are joined by Kim Ji Wan, JJ Helterbrand, at etong si L.A. Tenorio, katapat si Nabaroka, Taha, Simon, Pingris, and Blakely. As we take a look at this astig move brought to you by Jack and Jill Iceman Candy. Ilabas ang Taha. Only 3 of 20 from the field for Barangay and Ebra in the first quarter. But they're starting this second quarter with a lot more energy, a lot more aggressiveness. They're making the necessary stops on defense at nakakascore sila on easy baskets. Blakely with the leather, inahanap si Simon. Peter June working against Kim. Now Scott Johnson switching over. Taha, panggaan pa sila ni Baroka, tumba si Tenorio. Mark Baroka gets those two points, his fifth of the game. The intangibles, Yusef Taha keeping the ball alive in some instances here in the first quarter and making the nice hand of pass to open up Baroka and to beat the buzzer, almost a 21st second violation there for the Star Hot Shot. Tenorio Metangan, pupunta kay Johnson, ping this right on him. Johnson waiting for some movement, they want Greg at the slot. Slaughter gets that clear out, pull up jumper is good. Well, when you're Hinebra, you really want the offense to play around the capabilities of Greg Slaughter. At yun, napuntahan nila, nakakuha naman ang puntos agad si Greg. Away from play, Helderbrand caught holding on to Pengris. Helderbrand whistled for his first person. Two major points of attack here for the Star Hotshots. Number one, as soon as they get the ball, they're running, trying to score on fast breaks and getting fouls. The other one, just looking for mismatches. They know that Pingris has a huge height advantage against Helterbrand. That is why they're pushing apart. Baroka with the leather gets it over to Simon. Kim ji looking to deny Pingris a touch of that rock. Entry pass, not a pick to Kim. Masa in Ebronambola. Helterbrand down the middle. Double triple, naipito dito kay JJ. This opportunity once again, a little fast for his own good was JJ Helterbrand. Let's take a look at this once again. He wanted to make that pass, an obvious double dribble violation there for JJ. Nakataon na star hot shots, dagdagan pa ang kanilang kalamangan. Maroka may tangan ng bola. Taha. Gives that pick, Morado si Tenorio. Off the pivot, saktong-sakto. Just a nice hand-off pass earlier at ngayon naman. Dinilay lang ng bahagya ni Yusef Taha. A lot of good things here being done by Yusef. Looks like somebody got teed up here. Coach Frank Lim is on the floor. Sinasabi niya, iniusli daw yung backside nito ni Yusuf. Was it off the pivot or iniusli nga ba? Very close call there, but for L.A. Tenorio at some point, you really have to tail the guy who's getting that uh, handoff pass. They were asking for a, an offensive foul. Dito kay Yusuf Taha, hindi sila nakakuha. At natawagin ng technical foul si Coach Franklin. Mintis yung technical free throw para kay PJ. Coach Franklin continues to argue his case. But that just might uh, 
wake up his uh, players. They're down big right now. Only 13 points on the scoreboard for Barangay. Ginagamit ninyo mga coach yan, eh, no? Pag medyo matamla yung nakikita nyo sa liba nyo sa sayo, nagpapatechnical din kayo na si Jack Amin Samitza. Dalawang bagay kasi yun, eh. You want to get the attention of the referees. And the other thing is, gusto mo naman ay mabuhay yung uh, mababang energy ng iyong manglalaro. Tenorio pushing it the other way. Johnson attacking Ta. He's got Blakely behind. Chase down block is completed. Kim, though, keeps it on that side of the floor. Then an action natin. Dito sa pagkabilang kupunan. Kim Chi Wan. Atakin si Simon. Heldebrand lurking on that baseline. Kim for three. Di pa rin umubra. May gitang dominuto na lumiliba sa ating ikalawang yugto. Baroka on the move as Slaughter switching over. Tenorio looking to recover. Kim takes it away. Kim against Baroka using the sidestep. Slaughter is there, point it off. Buti na lang nandun si Greg Slaughter eh. Pero alam mo, yung tinira na yun ni Kim at yung sinapal ni Blakely, goal interference na yun eh. Pwedeng itawag eh. Pero slam dunk naman para kay Greg. P.J. Simondo, makakaanakaw dito sa kabilang dulo. What a pass issued by Ping. A little gamble there on the defensive end. Dito kay Kim, kaya na-open ang bagay, bahagya si P.J. Simon. Balik sa labinani, mga bante. Ang star hotshots. Slaughter. And the slot once again now is facing up. Contra dito kay Taha. Back to the basket, basketball. Frank Zilla lost it on the way up. Last touch, isa sa mga star hotshots. Performance play brought to you by Stanley Tools. Performance in action. So Greg getting creative there is not effective. The post up at ngayon sa pass break. Oh, ayon! Yung hinahanap natin. Sol Mercado, bagong balik. Pinamanda pa yung trust niya dyan. At it's atin ang PLDD on Devolution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Parang aksidente yung kira ron kay Sol Mercado. But we really want him to be offensive-minded. That is one way to help the offense of Barangay Neva. Pinalitan ni Sol si Eli Tenorio. Change up likewise back on the floor. Slaughter with that rebound. Pupo will kick him. Now let us see Elton Brand. JJ to Johnson for the chair! That is what Coach Franky likes. As soon as they get that ball, they want to run, score on fast breaks before the defense of Star Hot Shot settles. First, it was the Soul Train going glass on this Sunday afternoon. And then, Helterbrand waited for Orlando Johnson for that jam, forcing Coach Tim into this timeout. See how the Star Hot Shots react. Ping with Smetana gets it over to Devon. Three for the three. JDB sends that bad boy home. Hadi Tati and PLDD on Devolution turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Just so satisfying. Every time you want to stop the bleeding, you call a timeout, and you're running your offense and you score. Malaking bagay yung talaga para rin sa coach. Johnson Metangan gets it over to Slaughter. Sama nila si na Kim Mercado. And for the first time this afternoon, Joshua Vistondo. Kim, this touch pass taken away by Blakely. May foul na kanina ba sa half-court line. Ang sinasabi ng mga taga-star hot shots, tapat let go na raw yun. Pero yun yung mahirap na decision sa mga referee. Eh. Dahil tama, may foul, kailangan tawagin. Pero pag tinawag mo na, sasabihin, dapat nilet go mo na. Pero sa pagkakatangon yun, good foul para kay Sol. At may last line of defense pa, kaya hindi pa advantage yes. foul ang naipito ron. James Petlangan ang bola, step to the left three. Bang! All guns a place here for Sar Hot Shots. And there's a problem with two defensive schemes by Barangay. Number one, how do they defend that handoff pass? Number two, what about the pick and roll situation? Tim Cohn really knows that. If it's Greg who is involved in pick and roll situations, na hihirapan siya lumabas. Yun ang take advantage ng Star Hot Shots. 17 na po ang abante ng Star Hot Shots. Lately, gustong dagdagan as he attacks Kim. Tutulong pa si Greg Zilla. Slaughter with a rebound. Urbistondo gets it over to Kim Ji Wan. Malyari trying to keep in step with Kim. Bounce pass to Johnson. Nakita si Josh. Di makakuha mula sa kanto. Japet waiting na sa ating scorer's table. Malyari over at the other side. Blakely fakes that pass to Devance. 
There it is. It is a traveling violation. Kaya pati ako na pao deck lang. Parang malik. So if, if it doesn't look good, talaga may maliro ne. Eh. Eh, ang sama ako minto pa. Kaya biglang na-obvious lalo. Napakaraming turnover na rin, ha, nitong Star Hot Shots. Ang problema lamang, hindi na take advantage. Pero traveling talaga. Natawagan naman ng technical foul si Marcus Blakely. Oo, oh, dahil nire-reklamo nga niya yun. Delay of game. Ah, hindi naman dahil umangal. Hinawakan lang yung bolang mas matagal. Hindi makapag-start yung laban natin. Josh Orbiston did not play against Global Court. He had a 20-point explosion prior to that game. And Coach Franklin is just hoping na sana magkaroon ng isa pang outside threat who can shoot consistently from the three-point area. And then ito talaga ito magalang karir ng undrafted na mamang itong si Josh Orbiston doon, no? Siya yung pang-emergency. Break glass in case of emergency. He's not really a regular part of the rotation, pero every once in a while, pagka nothing is going right, you unleash him and just let him do his thing. On the basketball court, you know that he's capable of scoring, capable of spreading the defense, and I was told also that he's a very positive locker room guy. Yung mga ganyang players, maski may edad ka na, maski nagsastruggle ka on the court, yung the mere fact that you're part of the team is a positive influence for the entire organization. Slaughter, away from his comfort zone. And that's just too far. Bumanda kay Urbis Tondo. Yap all over him, four to shoot para sa Inebra. Urbis Tondo's got a launch one. Josh for a long one, wide left. Bola mabubunda sa Star Hot Shots. Just a sustained defensive effort for Star Hot Shots. What are they doing right? They're pushing Greg Slaughter away from his comfort zone. Because if he gets that ball inside five feet, it's really hard to stop. So what is Rivers doing? Pushing him out, he gets it 90 feet away from the basket. Ayos na yung defense mo. Lalo mo lima minuto na titira sa ating first half. Blakely at the post. Contra dito kay Johnson. Lalabas kay Malyari. Alex for three. Punches it through! Just two minutes open looks for star hot shots. Problem in the communication and in the rotation for Barangay Hinebra. We've seen it time again. Walang nagpo-cover for uh, wide open shots from the perimeter players. If you are to consider data analytics, prior to this game, star hot shots were shooting 27% of the three-point area. But in today's game, 5 out of 8 for a very high number, 62. So you can be improved nila sa kanilang uh, practices. Johnson misses. Aguilar boards it. Chop it. Attacks that baseline once again. Ayo talaga umuwi ng bola. Tenorio saves it. Slaughter will get it over to Kagiwa. The shots are there for Barangay Nebra. But the problem is, all are contested. Walang madaling tire. Kagiwa sailing through from the right side. Mabang, abante na star hot shot sa labing pitong puntos. Just the first two points for Mark Kagiwa. If you remember, he was the one who made things possible in overtime period against Global Court. Kagiwa will walk this one all the way home. Credit the steal to L.A. Tenorio. He slapped that leather away. Still down by 15 points as Barangay, but they're getting a lot of life because we're forcing turnovers, they're getting a lot of fast break varieties. Ang importante sa kanila at the end of the first two quarters, medyo sampu na lamang yung kanilang inahabol. They have a chance in the second half. Minti si James, bola mababalik sa Barangay Hinebra. As we take a look at this master guapo move brought to you by Master Face Scrub. Sekreto ng mga guapo, takatulas ni Ryan Gregorio. Michelle, ano balita? Let's give you a picture of the emotions on the bench ng Hinebra. Ito si Coach Frank Ilim. Hinampas na ang kanyang drawing board sa sahig at sinabi, they have to do something. Kitingnan natin kung gagana itong wake-up call para sa Hinebra, Magoo. Thank you, Michelle. Major collision in mid-air, though. Pareho si Slaughter at Blakely. Sinasabing nagkatamaan sila. Action continues. Blakely attacking Chapet. Spinning once again. Puts it off the glass for two. It's just a simplified point of attack for the star hot shots. First, again, they're looking for that mismatch. If there's no help, it's just one of one situation. That time, Blakely against that. Aguilar from the elbow is fouled all the way up. Nice emergency pass issue there by Kagiwa. So Japet will be taking two shots. Sinipinakamuna natin ang ating tatak-hole seat move of the game. Brought to you by Hole Seam. 
Mataga. Pag goal si. This is a situation where in the coach is really in a quandary because if they offer help, or if they double, if they double that post guy, the shooters from the outside are making their shots. Now for Coach Franklin, just push out whoever is posting up and hopefully just by guarding and challenging, it will be successful. Steal by Inebra. Chop it, Lilipad. Good shoot back to the line for two shots, but what hustle there displayed by Tiniente Tenorio. He doesn't have a score by Tiniente Tenorio, but his defense is the one that 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 is the one Roon sila ng oportunidad na makasyot dahil hirap na hirap talaga sila sa kanilang half-court execution. Be part of history on Independence Day, June 12. Show your support for the Philippines bid to host the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup. You will also have a chance to win free PBA tickets and more. Watch out for more details. 42-29. Barangay Nebra now within 13. Wala na pong dalawat kalahati natitira sa ating first half. Rebus may tangan ng bola kasama si Niyap, Devance, Blakely, and Barroca. One-hander doesn't drop. Blakely saves it to the wrong man. Aguilar to Johnson. Oh, merong foul. Oh. Aguilar and Rebus continue to play over at the other side. Actually, pati ako hindi ko narinig yung pito eh. Sa dami ng nagsisigawan sa loob ng Big Dome. Hindi marinig yung pito ng referee. Napakaganda nun. Pwede sa Shakti na full yun, ha? Tuloy-tuloy yung magbakat. Pinisi and Pingris on the floor replacing that front line of Rivas and Devance. Tenorio di discarte para sa Inebra. Coming up on the two-minute warning ng ating first half. Kaniwa off that baseline, trying to sneak one through. Oh, it's the one star hot shot. Steve Nagamuya. Pagkakahatod na naman para sa barangay na makai score dos in puntos dito kay Orlando Johnson. Pero wala pa talaga ng mga score na mataas. Four points for Slaughter. Four points kay Aguilar. Tignyente Torrio zero pa sa mga pagkakataong ito. Sabi ni LA. Ayan. Anymore go Charge. Narinig tayo ni Tignyente Torrio. Gumawa ng paraan para makai score. So from a lead highest at 19, natapyasa na ng barangay. Onsi puntos na lamang at kanilang nahabol. yung mga mandalaro natin at pati yung mga fans they know the repercussions of this particular game Yap over to Pinisi for the long three Mink all board Tao na si Japet di nakita ni LA Tenorio to Kagiwa on the run Mark back to LA No Johnson secures that rebound Orlando goes up Tumba si Peña you're mentioning about the importance of every single game. Both squads, Coach Archie, the rest of the way, sa kanilang mga assignment, tag-isang team na lang ang natitirang nasa iba pa pa nila sa standings. As we first take a look at this one, Coach Archie. Yun, kita natin, no? Parang grabe yung action ni Pingris siya kani Peña ron. Mamaya-maya, papasadaan natin yung remaining games na magkabila. Johnson gets it over to Kagiwa. Kagiwa for three. No. Rebound Blakely, coming up on a minute remaining in this first half. Ganda na sana yung run eh, tuloy-tuloy na yung Ginebra run, 10-2 run tayo rito. Pero hindi talaga maging consistent, lalo na no, from the three-point area, that is where Ginebra is struggling. Blakely, from this left side, hinahanap si Kinesi. Barroca and Tenorio getting entangled, that's an offensive foul on Mark. So ball will go back to Barangay Ginebra. Ano naman yung bakbakan dito? Pati mga point guards sa poste yung nagbabakbakan. Ball, ball na nakakatawa. Usually, yung ganyang uh, pwestuhan sa ilalim, malalaking mandalaro yan eh. Pero Baroka, natawagan ng offensive foul. Mabibigat. Kasi yung Barako, 6-1 eh. Looks like the foul was whistled before that attempt. Orlando Johnson asking for a four-point play opportunity. 
Balik sa labing apat na segundo ang shot clock ng Barangay Nebra. Johnson maglalabas. Tenorio ayaw patanggapin nito ni Baroka. Pena against Pinisi. Back to Johnson. Couldn't pull the trigger. Ping is all over him. Pena wants that leather, but now we'll just offer the pick. Three to shoot. Johnson from deep. Punches a through! He wanted that pick. Dorian Pena setting a bone crunching pick. Star Hot Shots was forced to switch it. To make advantage of Orlando Johnson. And you've been up and more. Barangay Nebra yes. now within eight points. Oh! Blakely running into Dorian Pena. Yun ang roadblock. Yun ang tinatawag na bumangga, giba. Buti na lang ang tibay din ng leg na ito ni Blakely. Nakita oh, ko yung leeg, pumitik, Coach RG. Grabe ito. Yung may pawis dyan. Oh. Oh. Yung mga nanonood sa Signal Channel 198 in HD, kitang-kita yung talsik ng pawis na yun. Tama <laughs> High definition yan eh. Buti hindi nag-weeplash doon. Oo. Oh. Mas malaking bagay kasi kung ikaw ang opensa at lumang ka na mahigit sa sangko, psychologically you have an uh, advantage. Para naman sa Hinebra, yung 8 points, kaya-kaya mo overhaul. Baroka on the attack, Chapet switches over. Baroka looking to use his speed. And away from play, an offensive foul is whistled on Yap. This is a distinct difference now for Barangay. They are actually playing with more physicality on defense at hindi lamang yan hindi sila nagpo-fall into a lull talagang on the ball yung kanilang defense here we go last shot time para sa Barangay Nebra to end this first half Johnson against Ping forces up a three and that will do it for the first 24 minutes of action on Star Hot Shots after leading by as much as 19 will settle for an 8 point lead